Greetings, YouTube and the internet. Uh, I know this is sort of a different sort of video that I normally post on this channel, but uh, I found, while cleaning out my garage, a, well, you can see what it is. It's, a, it's an old Polaroid camera. I think this, I think my parents might have had this uh, before before I was even around so I found it technically I found it in their in their garage but uh, it, it's still in the box and it, which is I think uh, you know extremely rare to find a box you know it is still in somewhat decent col uh, condition um, go ahead and open it it's upside down had it in the box wrong but uh, this is this is it this is this is the this is the Polaroid camera uh, this is the it's still in good condition too oh my god I, I honestly can't believe how excuse me how decent this is like it's still in functioning condition uh, which is very very cool I mean, for me, the fact that it still has the original box that it came in, there's nothing in the box aside from a piece of foam, but it's still, like, everything... The, the fact that I only care about the camera, I don't care about any of the paperwork or anything, and the fact that the box is still intact. It even has that, the, the um, save up to $100, it still has that on the box, too. Like, that was never taken off. This is awesome. This is so cool. Um, just the box alone for these, I would imagine, is is pretty hard to find um, because you know it's it. Who keeps the box? Honestly, who saves boxes for things, especially now? You know. Um, so this is big. This is big. This is always good to have uh, the box for it, especially the older something gets, the the better it is to have. Anyways, um, if you don't know what this is, which I'm assuming more and more people alive today have no idea what this is, um, but this is sort of a instant camera, really before, uh, long before we had uh, cell phones how they are now, uh, this is sort of the only way that we could get, like, we could take a picture and then instantly see it. Uh, because with a lot of disposable cameras, <clears throat> uh, you had to wait until they get developed. And there, were, there was just a lot of other, you know, not necessarily with just um, disposable cameras, but a lot of film cameras uh, back in the day had, uh, you had to wait to get the photos developed. So that's what was very popular about Polaroid cameras, is because uh, you would print the, the camera has a printer in it that prints out the photos as soon as you take them. Uh, there's there's no, like, any... I mean, there's, there's a viewfinder on the back, but there's no other screen on it to, to show you what you're taking a picture of. And there's even really no... Well, you can see on the back here, um, it, has, it does have a light for the flash. Uh, charging and ready uh, and then it has a couple of uh, switches on the back you can see there's LED lights that still work for uh, for the flash auto focus it has an auto focus that's what this grill is right here uh, that acts as sort of a, uh, like a I don't know if it shoots out light or infrared or whatever but that's what that does um, and then you can also have it play a, uh, a little tune if you want. You can toggle the, you can toggle the autofocus. You can toggle all the settings on and off, and that's that's pretty much it. You can't really do uh, any sort of color editing like you can today. Now there's a little <clears throat> a little switch right here on the side. I don't know how well it's coming up on camera, but you put push that down, and that opens this front little tray, and that is how you load the cartridges for the film. I know, you know, everyone who already knows about 
these cameras already know. It's like, oh yeah, that, that's exactly how that works. I'm not really making this video for the people that already know. I'm sort of making this video for the people who don't know, which is pretty much everyone who is under, I would say, under 30, which I'm not. So this this is what the cartridge looks like, and all the, the film is in here already. And then as you take a picture, it sort of, uh, there's like a bunch of ink packs in, um, in here in the photos. And then once it develops a picture, when you take a picture, that ink pocket gets popped. And then, uh, you know, magical fairy dust gets sprinkled over it. And then it automatically spits out your picture. Um, so everything is kind of self-contained within these Everything is kind of contained within these cartridges here. Um, so this is basically like the computer, almost. Uh, I think, so, I don't know if this is an analog one. I know there's some that have like batteries in it and you can't use, like the camera is just powered off if you don't have one of these in it. I don't know if this one's the same or if it's different, but you just, you literally just slide it in and then close it and you're good to go. And then each one of these cartridges has a certain amount of pictures on it before you have to put a new one in. Uh, and that just kind of folds down like that. <clears throat> There's, if you want to know more about this kind of stuff, there are more detailed videos that explain exactly how these work in better detail. Uh, I just find this to be very, very awesome. Uh, it's made in the UK, so, uh, Oi, bruv, got me a Polaroid camera here, bruv. I don't know, I'm sorry for all the... I mean, let's be honest, nobody's watching this video anyways. Um, so there's a, a little switch, a little lever here. You pull that back and the top pops up. And then this is on the opposite side from that little lever there. And um, yeah, this thing is cool. I'm gonna, unfortunately they stopped making this, these use, um, what sort of film do these use? Spectra film, which is a little wider. Uh, I'm assuming the AF is for autofocus. Um, but yeah, unfortunately they stopped making the uh, specific film for this like four years ago so I think I have to do some digging online to try to find a couple packs of film because I would like to try to use this camera because I find it to be very very cool. I'm sure there is a whole community f out there of uh, Polaroid enthusiasts that know exactly where I can source film for this and once I go through all of that film that I can find I'll probably try to adapt it to a narrower film um, because you can buy adapters because with the spectra film I was reading the spectra film is a little wider than a standard Polaroid I don't know if that's because of the autofocus where the whole thing is wider because it has to accommodate the wider uh, body of the camera because of the autofocus, so that's why everything is wider, or or not, I don't know. But they, they there's, um, I guess, like 3D printed trays you can get to adapt uh, the Spectra film, Spectra cameras to print out uh, standard film for Polaroid cameras. Um, so I'll have to see if I can find something along those lines. But it still does, does still work if I can figure out, I don't know, it does, it does do stuff. It, um, it does work. I know it does work because I've, I've got it to make some noises and some clicks and, uh, I've gotten the... I've gotten this to spin and do its thing, and I know it is still at least 90% functional. I just gotta get some film and put the film in it and see if that does anything. But yeah, this is what we did before smartphones and shit, and 
it's pretty cool. It looks like it has some sort of mount on the bottom for like a tripod, but it's also at the very back of the camera, and this thing is very front heavy, it feels like. So I wouldn't really trust this on a tripod. Um, I would probably want to have it on like a flat surface if you're taking like a group photo, because this does have a timer. It does. I don't know how, how long um, the timer works for. I, I don't know how long you have to set this up and then go in frame, but uh, I am going to try to get this working and um, take some pictures with it because, again, it is freaking amazing. And I love stuff like this, and especially that it still works, dude. This is awesome. There's a little peeling on this rubbery stuff up here, but even this still feels pretty decent. Man, look in your garages and your attics and your basements because you'll never know exactly what you're going to find in there. Uh, if, you know, your parents are still around, they might still have some old cool stuff kicking around, like... I found an old Canon camera, and now this. This is cool. I'm gonna try to keep using this thing because it still works, and I will stop talking now.